Hello children welcome you all in this online edu classes for class 7th social science here i am minakshi pande with a new video for chapter 3 how the state government works this is the first part of the video the main objectives of this chapter is to learn about the nature of decision making within a state government to understand the extent of power and authority exercised by the state government over people's life and the most important one is to critically analyze the politics underlying the provision of services or the distribution of resources let us begin with our country india here you can see the map of india our country india has 28 states and 8 union territories you can see here all the entire state is been divided on the basis of various races and cultures the segregation of states were on the basis of language nearly more than 1600 languages are spoken in our country in the previous class you have studied about the federal structure of india once more i am going to repeat it the government of india how it works we have the central government followed by the state government and finally the local government in class 6th you have studied about the local government briefly for example the panchayat and municipal corporation and their functioning now in this class we are going to learn about the state government state government works as a link and channel between the people and the central government each state in india has a legislative assembly and each state is divided into different areas or constituencies now let us have a look of the map of chatisgarh you can see the entire map is divided into different areas these are representing the constituencies in chatisgarh we have 90 constituencies in each constituency while election different parties fields their representative the number of constituency changes according to the size and population of the state now the elections are held and after the elections the elected representatives or we can say the one who wins from that area is known as the mla of that region or that constituencies so from every constituency we have one representative or known as mla the mlas thus we can say are responsible for the people of their constituency or we can say that the mlas represents people as we already know that india has a multi party system for example you might have heard about bjp congress all india trinamool congress bahujan samaj party aam aadmi party and many more are there in the list these parties make their candidate to fight the election from different constituencies thus these representatives are simply uh, fighting the elections after the elections the countings of the votes are done and on the basis of those votes the people are declared or the members are declared as the one who has contested and won that region now in each constituency the people elect one representative you would have seen people standing for elections on the name of different parties right let us have an understanding of ruling parties and the opposition parties now as we have discussed about chatisgarh chatisgarh state is divided into 90 constituent 90 constituencies now let us first understand about the ruling parties and the opposition a political parties whose mla won more than 50% of the constituency in a state is said to be in majority 
right the political party which is in majority is also known as the ruling party or we can say it forms their government all other mlas forms the opposition now let us have a look of the chatisgarh states assembly here you can see some dots are there these dots represents the constituency or we can say the legislative assembly you can see here nearly 68 seats or 68 blue dots these blue dots represents the indian national congress the saffron color one which is 15 in number represents the bjp the two dotted seats represents the bsp and the yellow color one represents the jcc you can see here in this graph the 68 seats of the legislative assembly of chatisgarh is been won by the indian national congress thus here the indian national congress is the ruling party and rest all you can see bjp bsp and jcc they all are the opposition parties now let us see here that what is the work after becoming the mlas these mlas now for example if i say the 68 mlas of indian national congress they elected their one member as the chief minister right after the elections these mlas belonging to these ruling party will elect their leader and this leader would become the chief minister like here in inc bhupesh baghel was been elected as the chief minister now in this case we can see that now after this the chief minister then elects the people or selects the people to become other ministers for various departments for various ministries after the elections it is the governor of the state who appoints the chief minister and other minister the chief minister and the other ministers have the responsibility of running various government departments or ministries they have separate offices next to these topics we would be discussing in the next video till then thank you take care be safe